Islamic Human Rights Organization, Muslim Rights Concern, says Nigerians, including the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sukuto, Matthew Hassan Kuka, running to the President Joe Biden government to help Nigeria at the same themselves. According to the group, recent events in Afghanistan and Biden's comments on Monday showed that the United States was out to protect its nationalistic interests. Murik Director Professor Ishak Akintola stated this in a chat with on Tuesday. Had earlier reported that the Islamic militant grown, group known as the Taliban or the Mujahideen retook Kabul, Afghanistan's capital, about two decades after they were driven from Kabul by U.S. troops. Before then, Taliban militants seized about 20 cities in the country following the withdrawal of U.S. troops beginning in early July. Afghanistan civilian president Ashraf Ghani subsequently fled the landlocked Asian country on Sunday, abandoning the presidential palace to Taliban fighters. Speaking on Monday, incumbent U.S. President Joe Biden said he stood by his decision to withdraw American forces from Afghanistan, adding that the troops cannot be denied cannot be dying in a war that Af Afghan forces were not willing to fight themselves. Biden also stressed that the objective of the U.S. under the then government of President George Bush had been fulfilled, saying we went to Afghanistan almost 20 years ago with clear goals, get those who attacked U.S. on September 11, 2001 and make sure Akida could not use Afghanistan as a base from which to attack us again. We did that. We severely degraded Akida and Afghanistan. We never gave up the hunt for Osama bin Laden, and we got him, he stated. However, in an interview with, on Tuesday, Murik director Professor Ishak Akitola accused America of fleeing the country after allegedly deceiving Afghans for 20 years. He said America, Afghans, by using them to dig in Afghanistan. After invading Afghanistan, America remained there 20 years with the support of some locals. Now, what have the Afghans gained from it? America has no problem. It is a national interest as far as America is concerned. The professor of Islamic eschatology at the Lagos State University described the development as an interesting one and asked Nigerians who would want to seek for help to learn a lesson. Akintola said, it is an interesting development and this is a big lesson for developing countries, particularly Nigeria, a developing democracy. Those who are in the habit of harassing their fellow Nigerians, intimidating the government and even citizens with threat of reporting them to America, to Britain, to France, relying on foreign powers to get what they do not deserve, to learn a good lesson from this. No foreign power will give your country what will benefit your country. Foreign powers Colonial masters will always seek their own interests, work for their own interests. They will never make you benefit from democratic dividends from which your country and the citizens will gain. Matthew Kuka just returned from America to speak to the American Congress. Of course, on invitation, they are deceiving themselves. America will not come to Nigeria to benefit Nigerians. America will not go to Afghanistan to benefit Afghanistan. When Biden spoke, on Monday, you can see the nationalistic impulse in him. He was talking about the interests of America, not that of the Afghanistan people. He told the American people that their interest lies in what concerns America, American security. Now, America has abandoned the Afghans after using them. Imagine how Afghans trooped out to the airport and are running after an American Air Force plane in order to fly them out of this. Was the same America that deceived them. And these were the locals who wanted to run away after America used them to target Osama bin Laden and others. The scholar also said the Taliban has learned its lessons and should be allowed to govern Afghanistan in as much as it would not walk the path of extremism and terrorism as it did 20 years ago before its detriment by U.S. forces. When contacted for comment, Reverend Father Christopher Motosho, the Director of Social Communications of the Catholic Diocese of Sukutu, told their correspondent on Tuesday that Akintola does not deserve a response. Hmm. Record that Kuka had in a virtual appearance 
before U.S. Congress criticized the President's Major General Mohamed Buhari retired for mishandling insecurity and the rampant kidnapping of school children. Kuka also accused the President of nepotism, highlighting key appointments that favored individuals of his faith. But the presidency, in a statement by the senior special assistant to the president of media publicity, Gaba Shiu, had fled Kuka and accused the cleric of sowing discord and strife among Nigerians by spreading falsehood to discredit the regime. Hmm. This newspaper had also reported that earlier in the year, Buhari called on the U.S. to consider relocating from Stuttgart, Germany to Africa, nearer the theater of operation in Nigeria to combat terrorism, but the U.S. had said it had no plan to relocate the command. <laughs> you can imagine what a, a Akintola is saying. If you are saying now that a Joe Biden is patriotic, is nationalistic, what do you have to say to your Buhari that you are always a defending? The little thing for Buhari to be patriotic and use what we have as a country or to improve on what we have as a country, he does not do that. He flies to he flies to the UK to go and get a he goes up to UK to go and treat himself. You all this your Akintolas and the rest of you, you are here languishing. So it's very patriotic. The presidency who is saying that a falsehood about what Kuka has been saying. So are we not having school children being kidnapped? Are they not still in the dens of uh, the kidnappers? Are the government are they not being paid ransom? Have they arrested them? All of you should be deceiving yourself. And you are saying the Taliban should not go extremely what they were doing 20 years ago. So you knew that uh, what they were doing 20 years ago, terrorism and extremism, is part of their agenda and you are happy. Of course, every country will want to favor themselves. See, when people are frustrated, this is what they get. You want to get to anybody who can render help to your people. So is that the reason why the government, the government already is doing it anyhow because you feel that hey, nobody is going to do anything. They are always talking about a hey, sovereign hey, country, sovereign country, sovereign that. You do the right thing. Well, now, it's very patriotic. Our, our leaders, all of them, are they patriotic? No, they are not patriotic. And you come here and be telling us uh, what is us. I like what the spokesperson uh, of uh, Kuka said, that Hakintola does not deserve any response at all. Can Isha Hakintola listen to himself, where he said that the Taliban has learned its lesson and should be allowed to govern Afghanistan in, uh, in as much as it would not work the part of ext extremism and terrorism as he did 20 years ago? before its detriment by u.s forces in one place is justifying the american invasion another in another is condemning it what kind of professor is this and that's it <laughs> so you know that these guys are into extremism and terrorism and you you think that they will not go back into that natalia oh my brother for this kind of person do you think he's sensible i don't even know how he became a professor in the first place so how does this statement help us please let's face our problem and restore the glory of this country i don't know what all these clerics are looking for running their mass every time like prophets of doom. One major problem in Nigeria is that we are more concerned about the faith than the message being passed. Otherwise, the professor's warning here is to both governments, individuals, and group that are looking to America for or foreign countries for solutions to our problems to desist. We must look forward or inward, listening to ourselves rather than bacchanalization of this nation. Yes, now the, the change we are talking about must start from the top. If not, we'll continue to be where we are or even retrogressing.